The reality is we see more drop off at the top versus on down ballot measures specifically. Actually, in many states, ballot measures were overperformed. Um, state elected officials, um, uh, the uh, Amendment 4, which was the reproductive freedom um, ballot measure in Florida, which in any other state, 57% would be a, a significant majority and they would have uh, been successful. They were able to get 1 million more votes than Ron DeSantis. Um, so this is often what we see happen in states because people look at these issues and they're like, yeah, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I want to raise the minimum wage. Like that's a no brainer for the, for for uh, for them. They aren't seeing a party a D or an R next to that issue, and so they will often be more motivated to vote for 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 those issues than they might be for candidates. And I think that speaks to the distrust we have right now in the United States uh, with institutions and government. Um, and I think there's an important bridge that ballot measures can play to restore that trust.